Fukushima towns lift evacuation order, allowing former residents to return 11 years after nuclear disaster. Tokyo, more than a decade after Japan's worst nuclear disaster, the town that hosts the disabled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plants finally lifted its evacuation order on Tuesday. Allowing former resident to come home, the town of Futaba, previously deemed off limits, is the last of 11 districts to lift its evacuation order, a spokesman for the town's municipal office told CNN. On March 11, 2011, a 9.0 magnitude earthquake struck off Japan's east coast, triggering a tsunami that caused a nuclear meltdown at the power plant. And major release of radioactive materials. It was the world's worst nuclear disaster since Kimberley, 1986. More than 300,000 people living near the nuclear plants were forced to evacuate temporarily. Thousands more did so voluntarily. Once bustling communities were turned into ghost towns. In the years since. Large-scale cleanup and decontamination operations have been allowed some residents who once lived in the former exclusion zone to return. Futaba is home to the Tokyo Electric Power Company and the railway station, public facility such as newly reopened municipal town office are scheduled to restart operation next Monday. Photos from the towns show empty shops, houses, and temple, many of which bear internal damage, such as collapsed roof and broken window. The streets are largely empty. Abandoned cars and trucks sit in a field covered in grime and rust. Before the nuclear disaster, Futaba had a population of about 7,100. As of last late July, more than 5,500 people remain registered as residents, according to the municipal office spokesman. Residents have been allowed to enter the northern seas area of Futaba, but not live there since March 2020, when experts said radiation levels did not exceed 20 millisieverts per year. That level is equivalent to two full-body CT scan. And international safety watchdogs recommended it should be the limits of individuals' annual exposures to radiation. Authorities began preparing for the town's reopening this year. In January, they launched a program allowing former residents to return temporarily, but only 85 people from 52 households took part. The Futaba official said. Photos from March also shows workers tearing down collapsed structures and preparing to rebuild them. More than 80 percent of the municipal is designated as a difficult to return zone, still experiencing high level of radiation. The spokesman said, and a survey conducted last August found 60.5 percent of residents had decided not to return, far exceeding the 11.3 percent who wanted to come back. Futaba has no official timeline on when other areas of the town will be fully decontaminated. The spokesman expressed hope for the town's future, saying Futaba aims to increase its population to 2,000 by 2030. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.